Hi everyone, okay, so version 5.15.9, I've changed the sky tools a bit and added some more features and made some improvements. Um, so, when you're running a sky swap feature now, um, it's still as normal when you left click on one of the features and you do your sky swap, it's still normal, you brush in your sky, etc. But you can now hold down control or command on a Mac. And click on one of the sky swap features and it will bring up the built-in skies so whether you have set your custom sky or not you will get this option when you hold down control or command you will already have skies to use so if you don't have skies it's fine just hold down control or command run one of the features and then you can do your sky swap um, if you hold down alt then if you hold down Alt and run one of the features, Alt or Option on a Mac, choose a sky and it will automatically add a gradient on your mask so that you don't need to brush in the sky. Now it doesn't work, it doesn't work so well on this image because there's already the gray in the, in the sky. Um, so the gradient will obviously show some of the old sky. So on blown out skies it works fine. So if I should blow out the sky here just roughly just so that you can get the idea hold down alt or option run the sky swap feature and then it should automatically put a gradient in the sky for you like that now the reason for this is so that you can just run through the images run through the through the image editing for the sky replacements um, and you can also do batch sky replacements if your skies are blown out um, or you can just blow out your skies so that you can just do this in a batch um, so that's one of the features as well and another change is if you want to do both um, add the gradient in and also pull your skies from the from your built-in skies then hold down option or alt and hold down control or command and then it will bring up your your built-in skies and it will also insert your your gradient automatically so uh, that's another change and um, so let's also do a sky swap on this gray sky image because a lot of you probably have skies like this that you struggle with because quick swap L is not really for these type of skies quick swap L is for your light blue skies or um, blown out skies completely blown out um, so you can either use quick swap L on these skies and then tweak the mask or use one of the other other features to create your own custom mask um, but if you're using quick swap L then let's just do this okay I, I want the built-in skies so hold down control command and then choose my sky now before I brush in the sky, I already know that this house here is going to get some sky on top of it because it's similar to the sky. It's light and it's gray. Um, same with these two houses here. So what I'm going to do before I brush in my sky, I'm going to choose my polygon and lasso tool and just protect those structures. So just go all the way around. And then here, I don't really care much. It's just when the um, you only want to be precise when you when your structure is touching the sky. That's when you just want to be more precise. Um, but here, I don't need to still be precise. I can just go like that. And here, it's touching the sky again, so I'm just gonna be more accurate here. And now I can just go above all these other houses. Zoom out. Go all the way to the end, right around on top, double click to join your selection. And now I can brush in my sky. Choose my paint brush, 100 opacity, 100 flow, and I can just brush in my sky. So I protected this area, uh, I've isolated this area, and so, so that I can just brush easily. And now I can deselect. Now, like I said before, quick swap L will leave some of your old uh, some of your old sky there like gray clouds um, or some darker blues 
So to remove these clouds, what we need to do is click on Tweak Mask. And now we want to just move this input levels dark slider lower. You want to move it as low as you can go, but not to the point where it starts damaging the edges of leaves or any other fine details. So I would say something like that. Where it starts taking away of the detail, I don't want to go that far. I just want to go like that. And now, okay. So now I will have my burn tool. All I need to do is make sure that it's on shadows. Exposure can be like 50 to 100. Um, but I like using 100. And then I can just burn away the, the gray in the, in the sky. So I want my sky completely black. Now, when it comes to fine details like this, I don't want to brush too much. I just want to get the gray. I just want to remove the gray. Give it a few clicks where there are fine details and then don't touch that side again because if I'm going to burn too much where I don't need to, the edges are going to be too sharp and your your it's going to look a bit fake. So just remove the the gray and then move along. Get rid of that gray in the sky and then go on. So I'll make my brush smaller so that I have more control. Once I've removed the gray, I'll just go on. So here's a bit more finer detail, so I'm just going to click a few times to remove that. Okay, so here I know that I already used the lasso tool to protect this, so I don't need to worry about this. I, I can just burn over it. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now I basically cleared the edges. I've made it easier for, for to brush away the rest of the sky now. I'm just going to use my brush tool. It's already on a hard on a hard edge brush. So now it's more easier to clear the rest of the sky. Basically the burn tool is just to make it easier to to uh, separate your sky from your foreground. And now I've cleared everything in the sky, and now I can click apply. Um, if you don't click apply, I've I've burned away all of the all of the clouds in the sky, but you can still see a bit of it left. The reason why is because that is because it's using the defringe. So if you want to remove that, you need to update your defringe layers by just clicking apply. And then it's gone. So that's basically done. And now all I need to do is click on my sky layer, bring up my levels, click on this icon here for your levels, and then you can just play with these sliders. So I'll use the slider to move to the right to lighten certain shadows in the sky. And I'll move this to the left to lighten the mud tones in the sky. And the the slider here, the white slider, I'll move to the left to brighten the sky if I need to. So this image, the sky doesn't really need anything. So I'm just going to click cancel. You can also bring up your hue and saturation, and then play with the hue and saturation. You can play this. Um, you can add more color to the sky or desaturate a bit, change the color, etc. So yeah, that's about it. I hope this helps you guys. Cheers.